beautiful family, we thank God for this week. We thank God that he's still keeping us. This week, we would continue with our series on post-wedding blues. And for this week, we would want to talk about some of the causes. What are some of the things that causes us to have post-wedding blues? We have looked at the expectations. Some of the expectations that people enter marriages with. So what are some of the causes of post-wedding blues? The first one has to do with unmet expectations. If all the expectations we discussed previously are not met, it brings a broken heart and thus can cause you to have a blue. The next one has to do with missing family and friends. If you are single, you have friends around you, you visit anytime you wish to, they come anytime they want to, your parents come anytime they wish, then all of a sudden you are married, your friends are no more around you, your parents are far from you, and it's you and your spouse, something you've never experienced in your life. And this can cause someone to have a feeling of sadness. It's going to even cause depression, especially if the person grew up in a large family where all the time there were people around. It can be so sudden to the person that it can affect the joy of the person. The next one has to do with unfulfilled single life. There are people or singles out there that all the amb ambition they have in life is to get married. It's either I'm getting married or nothing else. And they refuse to develop their lives. They refuse to develop their content. Upgrade themselves. Thinking that marriage will bring the upgrading. Then they marry and they realize that, hey, marriage doesn't make one complete. Completeness is in Christ. Then they get disappointed and start having blues. Another one has to do with childhood abuse. There are some individuals who were abused growing up, but unfortunately, they were not able to open up to share with people for them to be helped professionally. And by the grace of God, they've been able to walk through life and now they are married. And as you know, after wedding, sex happens. And here's the case, such a person who has been abused and not well helped by a professional counselor entertains fears, begins to remember the ordeal he or she went through. And then after the wedding, the person becomes gloomy. Why? Something would have to happen. And here's the case, the person is having a challenge. So this can also cause people to have post-wedding blues. The next one had to do with spending so much time on the wedding instead of the marriage itself. People spend a lot of time and money planning the wedding and not thinking about the marriage itself. So they get stressed out. And they marry, have a beautiful wedding, and then now they are faced with what is called marriage, which they were not prepared for. They didn't take time to plan for the marriage. All they cared about was a beautiful wedding. And thus can also cause the newlyweds to have blues. Another thing that causes post wedding blues has to do with one of the couples traveling suddenly after their wedding. They had plans of staying together. Then after the wedding, as work demands, one person has to travel far away from the spouse in order to earn a living. And thus, can be hurting 
you are single, you marry, you think you are going to have a companion, then suddenly it's a short lived. You become alone. And this can also cause people to have post wedding blues. The last one has to do with losing oneself. When you are single, you have fun. You eat the time you want to eat. You sleep and you wake up the time you want to wake up. You dress the how you wish. You don't want to please anyone. But suddenly you marry and you realize there's no more I. It's just us. Even what I wear has something to do with my partner. I would have to, especially the women, have to wake up early, cook for the family, keep the house tidy. You can't just get up and go out. As a man, you can't just get up and say, I'm going to boys, boys. No, you are now married. And you would have to stay home, build a family. And the process of losing the self to have an us or we can be challenging for some people. So these are some of the causes of post wedding blues. I believe you've learned something. Teach others what you are learning and help them to overcome their blues. Help them to identify that they are going through what we call post wedding blues. If you're also going through one, seek professional counseling and pray and the Lord would help you. Say, dear Lord Jesus, help me go through this blues. Give me grace in Jesus' name. Join the Church of Pentecost. We'll keep teaching you to live life as a kingdom of God. Expect us to. God bless you. Bye-bye.